Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac Twenty Questions and today what I want to do is talk to you about going paperless. And the reason we want to go paperless is because we get such a huge amount of paper thrown in our direction with bills and all sorts of documents and whatever else and we want to get rid of that paper out of the shoe boxes or wherever we keep them and put them into a place where they can be searched and found easily. And we're going to use Evernote for that. Now, if you've got a scanner, great, you can just put them in the scanner and basically have it sent to Evernote fairly easily and simply. And if you haven't got a scanner, then what you could do is you could use your iPhone or your iPad to do a picture of your document and use Dropbox to send it to the Evernote application. Now the one I'm going to be using is called Scanner Pro and it will actually send documents directly into Evernote. But I don't want to do that because if I do it that way, I don't get extra tags added to it or the choice of uh, where it goes to. It just goes into the ordinary notebook folder and I still have work to do after that to sort them out and put them where I want them. So what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, Dropbox as the intermediary and Hazel. So what we're going to do is we're going to scan our pieces of paper with the Scanner Pro and they're going to be also uploaded into Dropbox. When they get into Dropbox, Hazel is going to be watching the folder where they're saved into. And Hazel is going to rename them, it's going to put tags onto them with a bit of Apple Script, we're getting really nerdy here, and it's going to delete that file once it's been put into Evernote. So we have a nice clean folder and everything's all nicely sorted out. And it's all quite simple and easy to do. So let's get into it and show you exactly how to go about doing this, going paperless, with your iPhone or iPad and your Mac. Right then, let's get started by looking into Hazel. And the first thing we're going to do is to set up a rule with Scanner Pro. Let's just close that for a second. And as you see, I've set up some already. I've set one up for electric bills, one for phone bills, and one for any other scans. Go to electric, we'll click on that there, and now we can see the details for our Hazel rules. So I've given it a name, electric. And if all of the following conditions are met for the file or folder being matched, so the name has got to start with the word scan and it's got to contain the letters E, full stop, at the end of it, or anywhere in it, in fact. And then what it's going to do is once it's found files like that, it's going to rename it and it's going to rename it with a pattern. It's going to put the word electric in there, then the date created and the extension. And in date created, I've adjusted this so that. It's just giving the year and the month. Don't need to have the date in there because of the fact that it's uh, a monthly thing. So you don't need to have the year and the month and that's done. So let's click on done for that there. And the important part of this is the fact that we've got an um, Apple script in there as well. So there's our Apple script. And I am click on that there. We can edit the script. Let's extend this out just a wee bit so you can see that this line here is all on one line. So all this does is to tell Evernote to start up and to create a note in the notebook bills and to tag it with electric. Let's just close that down and, and when it's done those other two things there, what it's going to do is going to move the file into the trash folder. And let's click on OK. And you see I've got a similar one there for phone. And the difference with this one here is the fact that I've told it to tag it with phone instead of the electric, obviously. So let's close that down there. So that's pretty much the same apart from the fact that uh, it's looking for files that have got P and a full stop in it. So let's click on OK. And this one here is a catch all one. And we'll go into this here and the name starts with scan. I don't want it to get the ones that have got a P full stop in there or an E full stop in there, but to get everything else. And obviously if I add other specific rules for other files, then I can add to this as well. So basically if all of the following conditions are being met, so it's the name does not contain P full stop or does not contain E full stop, then I'll do the rest of the things there. So this one here is going to rename it with this particular pattern. So it's just going to put the name in there and the date created and the extension. And then it's going to run Apple Script, and we can see that basically it's going to put into a notebook called Scans, and it's going to tag it with the word Scan, and that's it. Simple one, that one. Let's click on OK. Let's see about scanning a document, and see how this works in actual practice. 
If you could just do me the favour of clicking on the like button, I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Right then, so here we are in the application, Scanner Pro. Let's first look into the settings. And you can set this to send to Dropbox, you can send to Evernote and Google Drive or to WebDAV. And you can choose one of those for an auto upload and I've chosen to do it through Dropbox. I want the things to go into Evernote eventually. So by sending it via Dropbox, what I can do is I can have the Hazel rules, send it so that it goes into the right notebook and also will add tags to it as well. So it's worth doing it this extra little different way rather than going directly into Evernote. Click on the button at the bottom and now we're going to take a picture of our bill. So you line it up using the lines on the screen, hold still and take the picture. And then what happens is that it will automatically try and find the borders. You can make adjustments to that by grabbing the dots on the corners there. As you can see, I can move that one around and put it exactly in the right position. And the same with any of the corners there. And if you go to the ones on the sides here, you can move those in and out, no problem as well. So if you've done it kind of skew ift then what this does is that it uh, looks for where the corners are and then it will try and de-skew it. So we'll click on done and then you have a few choices. You can do it as a photo, so you'll do that if you want to have it with colours in there. Or we'll go for document if it's just going to be straightforward black and white. Or we can go for grayscale. And then you've got these things on the sides here for adjusting the contrast. So adjust the contrast on the left hand side there. Put a bit more contrast in there so we can see it a little bit better. And the one on the right hand side there gives us the exposure. I find that one on the right hand side doesn't really do an awful lot anyway. So best to use it as a document because then it's going to be better for doing OCR when it gets into Evernote. So let's click on done. Okay, so the next thing to do is to click on the button at the top there which says documents. And we're given a chance then to give a name to this file. So I'm going to get rid of the time off there because we don't need the time on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a capital P followed by a full stop and a space even. And that's going to tell the Hazel rule that this is a scan and it's going to be a phone document. So click on done and that gets sent off to Dropbox. Now one thing that you can do with these scans is that if it's a multi-page document you can scan more than one page into the document and save that, that's no problem. So what we'll do now is we're going to Dropbox and we'll see what happens when the file gets in there and the way that Hazel acts upon it and puts it into Evernote for us. Here we are, here's our scan called scan p dot pdf and I've just uh, brought it in here by the means because my internet's not working. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it and drop it into the Scanner Pro folder and you can see what happens to it once it gets in there. So let's just drag that and drop that in there. So Hazel just does its stuff and adds it to Evernote for us. So there you go. That's the uh, phone bill gone in there. You can see it's uh, been tagged with phone. That's about it really. Okay, so this is another scanner here. That's not going to be phone, not going to be electric. And I'm going to drag it and drop it in there. And it's been renamed and it's been put into Evernote. So it hasn't gone into the bills folder. It's gone into a folder called scans. So it's a good way of using Scanner Pro, Dropbox, and also Hazel to have your paperless stuff go into the best place for it, which I think is Evernote, so that you can go completely paperless. So this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and for No Stylus. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now.